Hello students. Today we are going to know about a new lesson that is birds behavior. Lesson number 4. And in this lesson we are we will know about birds beak, feather of birds, birds flight, feet and claws, a birds home or nest, caring of young ones. These are the topics we will discuss. And this lesson uh, is divided into two parts. So today I will explain the first part. There are about 8600 species of bird. They are the only animals with feathers. These are the animals which have feathers. Feathers keep them warm and make them fly. Like other living beings, bird also need food. All living things need food, so birds also need food. Some birds eat grains, seeds and fruits while some other eat flesh and small insects. Bird use their beaks and claws for getting food. Bird use their beaks and their claws, the beaks and claws to get their food. Now here is a picture of few birds as you can see. Now first topic birds beak. Different birds have different types of beak depending upon the type of food they eat. Their beaks depends about the different types of food they eat. Beaks may be short, long, hard, shaggy or horny. These are used to crack nuts, pick up and eat grains, to tear flesh and to crush their prey. The first type of beaks are strong and hooked beak. You can see these type of beaks in eagle, owl, vultures. These type of beaks is used for tearing flesh. Birds like eagle, owl and vulture have strong and hooked beak. They use their beak to tear the flesh. The second is strong chisel shaped beak. This type of beak is found in birds that drill the wood and crack the nut. Means this type of beak is used for dragging the wood. Like woodpecker, it keep on dragging on the wood and make a hole for to live in and they eat their, crack the nut also with this pointed beak. For example, birds like hoopy and woodpecker use their beak to drill the wood and make their home or search for the insects in the tree trunk. Now next is long pointed beak. This beak, this type of beak is used for poking or pouring into the flower. They use their beak to suck nest nectar in from the flower. Bird like sunbirds and hummingbirds have such type of beaks. Next, strong, short and hard beak. This type of beak is used to crack the nuts and eat the grains. And we can see this type of beaks in parrot, pigeons and sparrow. Birds like parrot, pigeons and sparrow have short, strong and hard beak. Next is broad, short and flat beak. This type of beak is used for digging up the mud, water in search of food. Duck, goose, swan and spoonbill have broad and flat beaks. Beaks of ducks have strainers along its side. Can you see these holes in the beak? These are called strainers. When the duck eat the fish, the, all the mud and water strains out from this strainer. Through these strainers, mud and water sives out into tiny and the tiny plant or insects remain inside the duck's mouth. The next is feathers of bird. Body of bird is covered with four kinds of feathers. Birds have four kinds of feathers. First is body feather, flight feather, down feather and tail feather. Now first body feather. Body feather are those feathers which help to give shape to the bird's body. It gives shape to the bird's body. Second is flight feathers. Feathers that are attached to the wings and the tails of the bird are bigger in size and stronger. They help the bird to fly. These are known as flight feathers. 
Flight feathers have control rod and quills. These feathers are tightly knitted. Flight feathers are used by the bird to fly. Down feathers are these are fluffy and soft and keep the bird's body warm. These are feathers found in the bird's body and they keep the bird's body warm. They are very fluffy and soft also. The last is tail feather. A bird uses its tail feather for steering and barking. Some male birds have long and bright color tail feather. They use them to attract the females. So male birds have bright color feathers and they use the feathers to attract the female part. These are the types of feathers. This is the down feather, body feather, flight feathers and tail feather. This was part 1. Next other will be explained in part 2.